So let's hope that the preparations I made before the Nazis attacked were enough to keep them off my back for at least a certain amount of time. I know that if I last long enough, I'll, I'll get better projects, I'll get better, better units, and uh, I'll, I'll be able to kind of compete with uh, Hitler a little bit better. So I believe this is it. This is the final turn that I have. So uh, we did build one more field gun. Obviously, it'll take some time before this unit gets down there, but uh, let's just go ahead and send him to Breest, and everything else is ready to go. Um, I did notice that the British have a, uh, they have King George V class uh, within the Baltic Sea, so that's awesome. Uh, maybe they have had a lot of success, I'm guessing. Maybe destroying the uh, Nazi fleet, maybe. I, I don't know. That's, that's wishful thinking. Maybe that unit just came in and, and ran away, or maybe they're going after some of the, uh, uh, the German convoys that they have in, in, that, in that sea. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and have focus on, on the field guns, I think, for now. And uh, yeah, before we begin, I think so far, well, first of all, the UK were not able to keep their colony, or I guess their, their city that they took, they took for Norway. Um, I'm su really surprised that Belgium is still around. Obviously, the Netherlands and, and Belgium got declared war on by, by Hitler at the same time. Uh, not sure exactly why or what happened. Uh, I'm also surprised that Nice is still around. I thought that the Italians would have done a better job. Although, I mean, let's be real here. That's a very hard city to take with only two uh, adjacent uh, tiles to, to attack Nice from. That would be tough. But uh, obviously, I'm sure the Italians have a pretty big fleet in the off the coast of, of, of North Africa. Uh, I'm waiting for them to probably attack me at some point. Also, Malta will probably fall. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, it does seem like the Italians are attacking Greece, though. I know that's for sure happening. Um, but we'll see if if the Italians actually come after us in the Black Sea. I was, I've been debating or debating, <laughs> debating. Uh, I've been debating if I should be building any sort of ships at all uh, within this location. I just couldn't justify it yet. I know that I'm going to have to take over some Italian cities in order to win the campaign. I believe I have to take over Rome. And uh, I think most of the cities will be coastal, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, but I, I, I think that there's like three Italian cities and then five, five German cities. And since France didn't fall, it's going to make our job easier. Because if Germany did take over France, then we would have had to take that stuff back. Let's go and see. There it is. There goes the war. And, uh, oh, okay, so it's four and four. I don't know why I thought that the Germans would have to be five. Um, and are all these cities coastal? Except for Florence. Oh, Florence. Maybe we've had, we've had some good times together, man. Some good times together. So what have we seen? Germany is now an ally to Finland. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. So does that mean that we're, uh, yep, that, that's what that means. We are out, we are at war. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that. I thought there was a second war, and I thought that we declared a second war on Finland later on. I didn't know it was happening, like, right now. Well, that is going to be tough. Uh, Germany is now an ally to Romania, so we're going to fight Romania. I figured that. Okay, so these were just going to become, they were just going to fall to uh, the German, I guess they were just going to become allied to, to Germany. I didn't I didn't really know if, how the game, how this mod, and how the scenario was going to work, but, um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this is, this is going to be tough. Here we go. Um, I think that our border against Germany will be, well, will do okay. I'm actually more worried about the city-state borders than anything else. We're totally not prepared to fight for Finland, or fight Finland, though. Not at all. So, let's see, how much money do I have? I've got enough money to potentially buy another factory, maybe another unit. I'm actually going to hold on to my money for now. Instead of buying more factories, which is kind of what I've been doing so far in the campaign, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it, wait to see what units and where I need them, and then I'll buy them instantly, because I'm sure there's something that I'm missing in my current like army composition at the moment. So anyways, uh, we might actually have a lot of success against Slovakia, at least in the very beginning, with these two cities. So let's try to take these over. They're very well-defended cities with the, you know, the forest and the uh, mountains to the south of them, so we'll be able to protect them against Hungary. So anyways, let's, uh, let's jump into it. These units can't really do anything else. Um, here's my howitzer. Nice. Big damage. How are my tanks do? My tanks don't do very bad. They, they're not too bad. Um, I'd rather not attack with the tanks. Oh, we're, are we not going to be able to do this? Actually, we will with my big, big bad bomber that I decided to, to build. There we go. Oh. That's right. Ah, I talked about that in the beginning of the series, and I completely forgot about it. 
my fighters will only get the cities down to a certain strength. I'm sorry, to a certain uh, health. Oh, wow, we took it. Wow, we, I didn't realize the infantry was going to be able to take it like that. Well, that's incredible. Okay, we also want to try to attack this... Um, what is this? this? This field gun while it's outside and while it's in the open. I'm surprised that, man, my tanks might must not be able to do any damage against the Germans. Because if I can barely do this damage to a field gun... Because uh, these are light tanks. They're more for scouting. Um, they're all T-28s. Actually, this one back here was a T-20... Well, these are two T T-26s. But still, let's... Uh, Let's get ourselves a bit more borders. I'm starting to think that maybe we should focus on the not on, on the not the Nazis, the city states first. Maybe they're gonna actually pose a bigger threat to us. Well, let's see. Uh, I've got a field gun here. I've got a free infantry unit not doing anything. Uh, no. What did the, what was that for? Yeah, let's let's approach this city now. I'd like to take it over as fast as possible. That would be great. Here's another field gun. I'm going to keep you guys there, though. I'm going to try to protect Warsaw. Uh, and we will begin the siege of Kongsen Kongsenberg? Kongsenberg? Let's go ahead and try it, at least. Actually, we should attack with the planes first. Even though, do we have a, a distinct... Yeah, we would, we would take a pretty big penalty for attacking a city. About 25%. Oh, that's not even worth it. Because that's going to cost me a lot of material. I'd rather keep the planes on intercept mode. Are they all in intercept mode? Hold on. Really need to make sure they are. Okay, that one is. So I think they, I think they are, automatically. Okay, cool. And so let's start attack, attacking here. I'll use field guns to attack first. Well, actually, I only have one field gun up here. Wow, why is this city so tough to take? Oh, it does have a combat strength of seventy-seven. That would make a lot of sense. Now, where is my fast moving ship? Before I use anything, I, I want to actually bring the ships down to maybe help me attack that German city. Oh, I think so. The UK, I believe, have... Oh, they're already on it. They are already on it. I need to be careful because I'm at war with Finland. Um, and I think Finland's only at war with us. The UK and, and France are not at war with Finland. So maybe they grouped them together or maybe my history of World War II is still not all there. Probably, most likely, that's, uh, that's it. Um, let's surround the city. And then this unit... Whoops, I should have protected that howitzer. Oh, well. No one else can get to it, so it's fine. Ugh, Baltic States, why didn't you build a military? You could have helped me out so much right now. Even if you just had, like, one or two units, that would have been amazing. Ugh. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see what the Germans do. Let's see. I, I, I think that, if anything, the Germans will begin to attack now. If not, then I'm probably going to uh, pull back my regiments in Warsaw and actually utilize them more for a different front. Uh, I could always back up and maybe protect my borders against Finland. That is going to be an issue. Let's also check on Romania. Uh, they have a very, you know, they could easily come and, and begin a siege of, is this Odessa? Odessa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that, that is a city in Texas I, I know how to pronounce. I'm not sure about the Soviet city, Odessa. Uh, but yeah, they're right there next to the city. Uh, you know, it's only got 40 combat strength. Actually, I do have ships, which I probably want to utilize against Romania. At least Romania is one uh, coastal city along the Black Sea. So I'll probably do that, even though I don't know if these ships are really meant for attacking cities. I don't think so. Uh, I've been bombarded by what? Oh, city-states. Good. So the Germans did not attack us. This is, this is great news. Um, the Germans left us alone. So that's great. That's a start. Um, Slovakia reinforced a bit, although actually, no, he didn't. Uh, for some reason, Slovakia pulled out an infantry unit from the city, which I, I don't know why. It would have been better if, it, if they kept that um, garrisoned inside the city, but I, I guess not. So that, that's fine. If you're going to open it up like that, let's also make sure that we're paying attention to the Finnish front. I'm going to let Finland do kind of whatever they want for now until I have a, a better control, a better hold over um, our western front. How, how are we doing? Yeah, so I, I'm feeling pretty okay about this. They are definitely stealing away some borders, obviously, moving some units around. If they go after this city, it, this city is going to fall. I have actually, like, nothing here to defend it. I could embark through this city because I've got to... Actually, I can embark by this city and come up and try to defend like that. 
Um, that's going to be an issue. Again, I have this money, though, for a reason. Okay, so the UK have really pushed back. I believe, look at this. Look at all the units or all the cities that are at low health. So I believe the UK have done a lot of damage so far to the German fleet. That would also explain why the British are here looking for the convoy. So I'm going to go back down south and we'll focus on attacking this German city. And then we'll worry about Finland later. Finland's going to be in the back of my mind. What, what happened? Okay, that's, that's fine. Prepare our troops. We're going to declare war on who? On Italy? Or on Algeria? Yeah, it's 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 Italy. It's definitely Oh I'm oh I'm already at war with Italy. Well then who am I at war with then? I don't know. We'll see. That's good well that's gonna be fun. I don't know who that's gonna be against. <laughs> Hopefully it's somebody far away. Uh I just hope it's no one from the Middle East. Really don't want it to be like Turkey or somebody. Um I'm friendly with Iran. Uh, but I'm not allied to them, and I have no money to, to send over that way. I don't think I go to war with Turkey. It's probably somebody far away. We'll see. I'm not going to worry about that now. It's fine. Okay, administrative building. Mm, just work on wealth for now. Focus on wealth, and then we'll focus on the attack of the city now. Uh, I don't think I can attack it yet. Ah, these guys cannot melee attack. I can range attack, though, but I have to be right next to the city, I think. Uh, and I cannot, I don't believe I can attack with a submarine either. But let's go ahead and get some vision. Yep, I cannot. Which is good. It's realistic. I like that. I was going to say, if I can attack with a submarine, there's something wrong here. Okay, so let's attack with the howitzer. Nice. Good damage. Let's see if our aircraft unit can do any do anything. Combat versus armored units. I had no idea the anti-aircraft was, was that good against armored units. That is amazing. Can't attack uh, limited visibility. Well, still, I'm, I'm hoping that because of the anti-aircraft gun that was there, uh, that maybe stopped the Germans from attacking us with their air force. Potentially. Oh, this is going to be a grind, and I need to be keeping an eye on my materials and my manpower. My personnel uh, maximum reserve, I guess. It's pretty much manpower. It, that's pretty much what it is, though. Okay, field gun. Um... I will... Dang, I don't really have any more units for you to... I guess I'll pull you down south because there's no one to defend you. Oh, there... That's right. I keep getting confused. Well, I should be using my BT-7 anyways. Okay, so let's try to take out this infantry unit. Do we get any advantage for attacking... Uh, no. We don't get any, any advantage for attacking infantry. What about our field gun? I don't think so. Yeah, just armored units. And we should be trying to destroy this guy anyways. Or at least trying to push him back. Because there's a there's a possibility that uh, he, he will retreat. And they're, they're also counter-firing against us. Do I want to start attacking the city yet? Well, we should definitely use that bomber again. Luckily, I'm building another bomber. I mean, these bombers are, are going to be really useful. I, I think in uh, Moscow. No, no, I'm actually building the KV-2. Uh, I thought I'm building another bomber somewhere. Another heavy bomber. I, I, I hope that that's... I, I hope that my feeling there is right. And maybe I should push the fighters a little bit more forward. Okay, so you guys are going to stay there. And uh, why can't I put you back behind this tank unit? There's nobody... Well, that's fine. I'll wait. Oh, there we go. That's even better. I can put the howitzer there. Uh, should we try to flank? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Because now we'll flank him. Oh, now he's really in a tough spot. This is this is good. Uh, now, I might be able to pull this guy like this. There we go. I, I still won't be able to attack just yet. I could also maybe... Let's just attack the city. Not worried about the units as much. If we destroy the city, and if he's back behind his lines, he won't be able to supply, and, uh, and we'll be able to take him down like really fast. Uh, don't really want to get too close to Hungarian territory. Oh, good. Now my infantry is here, too. So just as we start making, like, a lot of progress against the city-states, that's when I imagine the, the Nazis are going to come after us. But uh, but we'll see. I mean, knock on wood. I mean, it's it's possible that uh, they're too preoccupied with their French front. I imagine the Italians might come after us, too, though. I, I am fully aware that that could definitely be a possibility. Because I don't think anyone is really 
I don't I, I don't believe anything besides the Italians will, will is are controlling the Mediterranean. Wouldn't really make much sense there. Nice is under siege, but still holding on. Okay, yeah, no, I need to remember to use try at least these ships uh, to attack this city. Okay, and what are we seeing? So we're being attacked by I think the are the Germans the ones that are attacking that or yeah that's the Germans that are attacking this city, the former Slovakian city. But where are, oh look at notice that they retreated their air force, so they were here they retreated them. Now if I take a city with air force located inside of it, it's not like Civ Five where those air force where those planes get destroyed or whatever like nukes get destroyed, um, they will just retreat to a different city, so. It, that kind of sucks, but it, it's also good for you. It's good for the player because once you build like you know air units, I mean they are going to be a you know a pretty much they're pretty much going to be there the entire game. Fourteen damage was bombarded by. Jeez, where are they attacking us from? Oh, yep, Hungary's coming after us. Okay, well that is okay because as long as Romania isn't coming after us too, that would be good. Let's go ahead and check the Finnish borders. Because I have no idea what's going on over here. Finland, please leave us alone for a second. That's the only place that I just, I have absolutely nothing. I mean, I guess, you know, for the un the, the new units that I'm building, I, I guess I could send them there. Since most of my big production cities are deeper inside of the Soviet Union, uh, I could just drop by Finnish territory. If they're going to go after that city, are they going after anything else? Th this unit's just doing what he wants. Okay. Will I be able to use... No, I won't be able to use this ship yet. One damage. So you can't attack cities very well, do you? It actually doesn't say. You can't attack air either. So I'm feeling ballsy. Let's go ahead and explore. With my submarine at least. Alright, not bad. Not bad. So it, once we drop this city though, I mean, it's... We can really move forward pretty fast um let's let's go to i i really I'm, I'm really enjoying combat medics actually a little bit just to make sure that i can keep my personnel high at all times i do have a lot of infantry units and that i did that for a reason as a soviet union and our unique ability it'd be pretty important where is my aircraft it's here right yeah my anti-aircraft i mean okay that's good okay let's attack with the bomber first again um, nice. We are also getting promotions. I guess continue to get, yeah, get better at attacking cities. Seems like a, a given. Visibility. We could use that. Especially because it's a tank and it's uh, my more powerful tank, the T-28. Hmm. We should try to take this guy down with... Ooh. I need to be careful where I send this field gun. There we go. That's probably for the best... Okay, so this this unit is done. We have him completely surrounded. He he's got to be done. Uh, and then I'll attack like here, and boom, he's gone. Right? No, he's still not gone. Okay, well now he's gone. Now I can move this unit up. I can move this unit to perfect, protect against Hungary. And uh, and that is going to be it for this video. Uh, the war has begun, and I'm not feeling too afraid right now. It seems like the British have had uh, a good time destroying the German fleet. But we'll see. I still have to take over all these cities, and we're having trouble taking over one German city. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.